Hi everybody, it's just me LTM. I hope you're having a great day. Today's video is kind of a two-in-one. You'll know that I've been doing quite a few yarn tests on my channel and I've also done one video where I was testing somebody else's pattern. It was the winter waffle stitch. I'll put a link up here if you want to go and have a look at that video. And today it's a two-in-one video. I'm testing a new yarn that I have never used in my circular knitting machine before and I'm testing a pattern that I've never tried before as well. The yarn I'm using today I bought from Hobby and it's called Starlight. Now I purchased it thinking that it would be like this Starlight that I've previously purchased from the local yarn store Spotlight. And you can see how sparkly that is. It has silver thread through it and it's really gorgeous. It's been discontinued. So I can't get any more of this, which is very sad because it's a gorgeous yarn. Nice and soft and the sparkle is really good. So I was looking on the hobby site and I found their yarn called Starlight. I'll put a picture in here, a close-up picture. What I didn't realise was this is reflective yarn, not sparkly yarn. So just looking at it plain, it doesn't look very sparkly, does it? And it's not. That grey stripe you can see going through the purple yarn is reflective material. So when light shines on it, it reflects and is very bright. But if it's not in a particular, you know, if it's not in light, then it's fairly plain and boring. So I was a bit disappointed with this yarn when it arrived in my order, but I've got it, so I'm going to use it. And I'm going to make a beanie because if you're walking at night time, the flat fact that it is reflective will be really good from a safety point of view. I'm going to use two colors. I'm going to use this dark purple, and I'm going to use this light purple and I'm going to make a beanie but I'm going to do a pattern that I have never used before on my circular knitting machine. The pattern that I'm going to be having a go at is called the Spiral Staircase Toque. It's by Karen's Crafts on YouTube and she posted it about two years ago. I have seen this pattern quite some time ago and decided that at some point I would like to give it a go. So if you've seen these fancy Dan stitches that you can do on these circular knitting machines and you haven't tried any yet, then this is opportunity for you to see what it's like for a person trying for the very first time to follow this pattern and see what it turns out like. So there's your two in one. I'm using a yarn that I haven't used before, so it's a yarn test. And I'm doing a pattern that I've never done before as well. So it's a pattern review video as well as a yarn test video. Enough babbling on, let's get on with it.
So there you have it, the spiral staircase toque made in the Hobby Starlight Reflective, not sparkly, reflective yarn. I think it turned out pretty well. The yarn worked through the machine very well. There were no drop stitches. I did get stuck with the pattern at one point. Uh, I highly recommend that you decide at what point you're always going to stop. If you have to get up and move away from the machine, decide that you're always going to leave when you're about to wrap needles or you're always going to leave the machine with just when you start doing uh, the three knit stitches that are in the pattern because I walked away from the machine and as you saw when I took it off there were two holes and that's because there were two points at which I lost track of where I was at in the pattern and obviously didn't pick it up at the right point. And that's because I stepped away from my machine to get a new ball of yarn because I had run out of yarn. And that's the other thing, these starlight balls didn't go very far. I only got about 42 rows out of my 8040 Simps machine. So that was a bit of a surprise. I hadn't expected that. So this total pattern, I did 125 rows. It is quite big on me just as a um, full length. It fits me better with the brim turned up and I did do an contrasting colour on the inside so that if it was turned up it would look pretty. So I mean if I sell this somebody could wear it you know if they've got a larger head they may want to wear it that way but if I was to wear it or somebody with a smaller head was to wear it they could wear it with the brim turned up. So there you go very happy I think the pattern was quite easy to follow so highly recommend Karen's Crafts, go and watch the YouTube video. I will put a link in the description that's uh, just below this video. So go and check out her YouTube channel and can highly recommend that. I love how the pattern has turned out with this spiral look. I think it looks really pretty. I hope you got something out of that. If you did, I'd love it if you could click the thumbs up button and give me a like. And also if you'd like to subscribe, that would be fantastic. It will help YouTube know that these are the kinds of videos that you like to watch and it will show more of them to you in your recommendations list. So that's all from me for today. Hope you're having a great time. Bye.